So what's going on guys, Kate's here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the top 6 highest damage heroes in Dragon Hair Silent Gods. And just before we start I want to clarify that yes, this video is sponsored, but I'm not getting paid for saying positive or negative things about the game. All that they said is just to give a try to this game and see if I like it. So the game just launched globally and is now available on the PC through the Epic Game Store, Steam, Mac, iOS and Android. And if you want to try it out and join the new D&D Legends in Dragon Hair, then download the game right now using my link in the description. So if this sounds interesting to you, then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first best damage hero, and it is the Lothair. So he is a legendary hero with a melee attack range, that mainly uses poison as his weapon element of choice. In Dragon Hair, every hero brings a unique set of skills and abilities to the battle, so selecting the right hero for the right fight will be very crucial for your success, as you grow your team and progress your character. On top of all of this, here are my top 8 ratings of the dungeons that I use this hero on, and for each one I ranked Lothair rating from 1 to 5 stars. So this happens very rarely, but this is one of the only heroes that gets 5 stars for performance in every single activity. This hero has such a good synergy with other heroes and his damage is that high that I haven't seen a better damage dealer that can easily farm these dungeons so quickly. Then as far as his skills go, the leader skill will increase all allies enlightenment by 60 in all battles. Then the passive will do that when the hero skill deals damage to a target under the poisoned effect then he will deal additional derivative poison damage as well. Then the battle skill will rush towards the enemy with the lowest HP dealing poison damage to the enemy within range, and with a 75% chance of inflicting 2 stacks of poison for 15 seconds. And then finally we have the ultimate, which will make our hero jump up and strike the designated area, dealing poison damage to the enemy within range. And then he can even follow that up with 2 tornado slashes, where each slash deals poison damage to the enemy as well. Then for the second best DPS hero we have the Evelius. He is a super fun legendary hero that deals range damage by using the lightning element. And as he is more squishy and weaker than the other heroes, so we will always want to keep him in the backline and close to the support hero. But if he is left untouched then he will do insane damage and devastate your enemies from afar. Then as for his performance, he has max star rating in most of the dungeons except the ancient battlefield and the goblin lair. Then taking a closer look at the skills, and his passive skill will do that when an ally launches a basic attack, that hero has a 10% chance of launching additional attack, dealing derivative lightning damage, and as we are a dauntless hero, so we have a double of chance of triggering this effect. Then the battle skill will deal lightning damage to the enemies within range, and grant attack speed up to 2 to all dauntless allies for 5 seconds. And then lastly for our ultimate, he will fire a mighty arrow, dealing lightning damage to the enemy, and very importantly, this damage will ignore 100% defense buff on your enemy. Then next up we have the Hivater, the Lady of the Gale. She is another amazing hero that has legendary rarity, and her element is ice. Hero type is of course frost, and mainly she attacks from range. As far as her rating goes, she is amazing in all top 8 dungeons. And because of how much damage she can do, so if you look into what enemies you come across, then you will notice that having a frost damage healer is way too OP, because of how many enemies take more damage from the ice element. So with that said, her leader skill will increase all allies attack by 45% in grand gladiator arena battles. Then her passive skill will change the weather to the ice wind for 15 seconds as the battle starts. While the ice wind is in effect and when the targets are inflicted with frost, it will additionally deal derivative cold damage over time to them, and enemies with HP below 15% will be executed. Unfortunately, the boss is immune to the execution, but he will receive additional derivative cold damage instead of the one-shot execution. Then her battle skill will unleash a frost breath, dealing cold damage to the enemies within range, and even with a 75% chance to inflict frost for 5 seconds. And then lastly for her ultimate skill, she can change the weather to the ice wind for 15 seconds and deal cold damage to all allies. Each enemy under frost in the battlefield will increase their damage by 15%. And then just before we continue, I want to tell you guys about the new upcoming dungeons and dragons characters 
a new cool event and much more. So Dungeons & Dragons is the world's most popular tabletop role-playing game, and Dragonhair is officially collaborating with them, and by doing so, they are introducing new characters like the Jizdu Urten and Air 2 to the game on November 17. This collaboration, Jiz and his Black Panther, the Gunavir, will have an independent and complete storyline. Players as well will be able to consume the Helia Light dice to participate in the Planeswalker summoning for a chance to summon the event's exclusive hero, the Jizdu Urten. Dice skins like D20 and D4 are also free to get, as long as you complete the collaborated main quest and their connected activities. Players as well can go and defeat the final villain, Bast Air 2 in multiple ways. Air 2 will be added to a new dungeon after the completion, and you can unlock rewards by dealing big damage in the sandbox world. So what are you waiting for? Try the new D&D Legends in Dragonhair and have fun! And then lastly, I want to quickly introduce you guys to the Planeswalker summoning. So during this event, you will be able to summon heroes by using the Helio Light dice. And because of this event, you will get increased chance of getting very good heroes. In each few days, this event will change, thus giving you the chance to get different heroes. Here you can see as well the heroes that you can summon. I personally will be going for the Jizdu Urden hero, because I really want to try out the Dance of the Wild skill, and because our captain will give us 30% crit damage. Then as well some other good heroes is the Estella, Rava and Garion. So guys, don't forget to participate in this event. And on top of all of this, you can go to the official Jugendhair Facebook page and watch the new D&D event trailer. So then going over to the next hero which is the Losenia. She is a legendary hero that deals magic ice damage from range, with her very powerful skills. As far as her rating goes, he will get 4.5 stars out of most dungeons, except the Temporal Vortex. This is one of the only heroes that gets 5 stars in the Goblin Lair. And that's because Losenia has insane AoE damage, so she can destroy big enemy groups in few seconds. Then as for her skills, she increases all allies attack by 30% in all battles. Then her passive skill will give your basic attack, that each time it casts, you will summon an Ice Ball, that balances between enemies, dealing cold damage with a 75% chance of inflicting frost for 10 seconds. Then the Ice Ball bounces up 2 times, and the skill prioritizes enemies that are not inflicted with the frost first. Then the battle skill will mark an ally for 6 seconds, and every 1.5 seconds, the marked ally deals cold damage to the surrounding enemies, with a 100% chance of inflicting frost for 5 seconds. And then finally, the ultimate skill will summon an Ice Dragon Vortex at the designated location that lasts for 6 seconds, dealing cold damage to the enemies within range every 1 second, with a 100% chance of inflicting frost for 5 seconds. Then for the next hero we have the Rahash, the Darkfire. He is another legendary hero that uses the fire element that attacks of course from long range. This hero is similar to the previous two damage heroes, because of his insanely high ratings for all dungeons, except the Goblin Lair, and even in that one he still has 4 stars. So overall this hero is definitely worth the price. For his passive skill, the hero will gain a fire heart for 4 seconds, and upon an ally's ball check, the hero will automatically succeed, and their ultimate skill has an extra effect when they have the fire heart. Then the battle skill will wild shoot an arrow at the enemy, dealing fire damage. The damage then spreads, inflicting fire damage on another enemy within range. And then finally, for the ultimate skill, this hero will wild shoot a powerful arrow at the enemy, dealing fire damage. And if the hero has the fire heart when casting the skill, then the skill damage is increased by 30%, and the hero's ultimate energy is increased by 20%. And finally, for the last best hero we have the Casper. He's a fun legendary hero that's similar to the Traveler, will use the fire element to deal damage from range. As you noticed, most of the best damage heroes are ranged, because they are the most squishiest and lowest HP heroes, so in return they will get insane damage boosts. Then as for his rating, the most activities he will get 5 out of 5 stars, except the Goblin Lair and the Arena. So this hero is not the best for PvP, but for PvE he is truly very powerful. And as for his leader skill, he will increase all allies attack by 30% in all battles. Then the passive skill will do that that the hero gains one stack of absorbed carcade upon an ally's successful vile check for 20 seconds. The absorbed carcade cannot be dispelled, 
In the battle skill, will make your hero Val shoot 5 flying daggers at the enemy, each dealing fire damage. In addition, the skill ignores the target's 1% defense for every stack of Absorbed Carcade. And then finally, for the ultimate, he will deal fire damage to the enemy. And for the next 15 seconds, the hero will shoot 3 flying daggers at the enemy, and upon an ally's successful Vala check, each dealing fire damage, and that's about it. So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other video ideas like hero guides or beginner tutorials that you would like to see for Jug and Hair Silent Gods in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to thank again this video's sponsor Jug and Hair Silent Gods and don't forget guys to click the link in the description box to download the game and play it for free. Jug and Hair Silent Gods is an open world strategy RPG game with a western fantasy theme which seamlessly integrates classic western TRPG gameplay inspired by Dungeons and & Dragons and has gained over 10 million downloads worldwide, securing the top spot in more than 10 regions since its global launch. Enjoy the D&D legends in Dragon Hair. And if you found this video helpful then please leave like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so this way you could support the channel and you wouldn't miss any more upcoming content. With that said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video, so take it easy, peace.